It's Leon Chums. How are we going to tell her? How, how are we going to tell her? How am I going to tell you what we've got to tell her? Freeze frame! <laughs> what was the message in the letter? Was it earth-shattering news for Kat? Find out now. It Chums! <laughs> Chums is filmed before a Hive studio audience. Was it? So, Declan, what was the message in the letter then? It was terrible news, Kat. Mm. Really terrible news. I feel so sorry for you. I feel so sorry that anybody has to hear this type of news. <laughs> it's probably the worst type of earth shattering news that can possibly anybody can ever hear ever in the history of the world. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> What was it? Hey, do you know I forgot? <laughs> no. You got mine like a sieve. Yeah, I'm having a feel terrible like that, me, you know. Hey, I'd oh. forget your head if it wasn't screwed up. Oh. <laughs> hey, but I'll tell you what I haven't forgotten. What? That me and you are all alone in the flat. Oh, yes. Maybe the weeks and weeks apart will have cured that uh, little thing between us. No, Kat, I'm sorry. It's, it hasn't got any bigger. No, I mean, I've, I've had it out in the sun every chance I've had. I've even dipped it in fertiliser, but it's still a little floppy piece of nothing. Uh, no, 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 Declan, Declan. I mean, our snog problem. Oh, that? Oh, I thought you were talking about, you know, me, me little pot plant? No, it's, it, it hasn't got any bigger since it's been away, but I'll be, if you're talking about the snog thing, that's a different story. Me and Kat all alone in the flat. I feel as though this time I really could be giving her a big old kiss on the hundredth show. Portland, get up here this instant! <sighs> We've been looking for you to try and exchange 100th show gifts. Yes, get yes, yeah. Here. I'm, oh, I'm, right, go come on, I'm going first. I've got this one. Ah. Here you go. Ooh, is that me? That's for you. Hey, oh, hey. It's a really expensive looking designer, but. I know. <laughs> <laughs> What's in it, eh? Hey, what, eh? <laughs> Nothing. Well, the gift is a really expensive designer box to put really expensive designer things in, see? Oh, great, thanks. No problem. <laughs> uh, you haven't got a gift for anybody special, have you? Well, let's just say... Yes, I have. Here it is. There you go, Do that, you Oh, don't worry, Kat, I haven't forgot about you. I'm going to ask him to lend it to you when he's finished with the tea. Imagine I book! You can flame and well, give it. Oh, thanks, Tech. You know, this is brilliant. Oh, thanks, it's just what I've always wanted. I'll go and put it with all the others you get us every time you eat me birthday or something like that. I knew he'd like it, I told you he'd like it. Yeah, man, I'm being sarcastic. Magic eye books. You know what you have these? It don't even work. One look at them, I can't even see it. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Dad. Yes. Yes, I can see you. Oh, oh, oh. In fact, I can see everything. <laughs> oh, no, I've seen this type of thing happen before. Come over here. It's when people look at magic oh, eye books. Their eyes jam right open. And the only way to fix them is if you have a really, really expensive operation. It costs 15 whole pounds. What are you on about? <laughs> We've got that kind of cash. Oh, don't worry, Aunt. We'll get the money you need for that eye shut and operation, don't you worry. I'll get that money and we'll have those peepers blinking like they used to. But, and, and, and tell me, what's it like to be able to see everything? Oh, it's terrifying, Cat. Tiny things appear like massive things to me. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny insects look like gigantic monsters. Oh, look, and here we go, massive <laughs> It's you, actually, Kat. Oh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey! No, look, Kat. You see, my vision is like, it's like X-ray vision. It's so powerful, I can see right through clothes. In fact, I, I, I can see that thong you're wearing. What? Well, well, what about me? What underwear am I wearing? <laughs> it's a comfort thing. <laughs> well, well, let's have a look, then. Let's have a look at your underwear. Hey, no, you do not, mister. Claire, what's your name again? <laughs> Kat! <laughs> This, 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 this is Kat. Oh, as I was saying, yes? I know Claire's over there. Yes. As I was saying, Kat's naked body is for her to see and her alone. Nobody else. 
Apart from the men that buy them glossy magazines she does them photo shoots for. It's always very tastefully done. Well, look, don't shout at me, Mr Forget Me Lines. You're the one! <laughs> You're the one who bought us the 3D Magic Eye book in the first place, aren't you? Do you know, Aunt? You're right. You're right, and I am going to take it upon myself. I'm going to take the responsibility of my crazy actions, and I am going to raise that £15 cash needed for your eye-shutting operation. Leave it to Deck. Go on. Sit yourselves down. <clears throat> I'm a way out. Deck? Yes? Your thong's off centre. Thanks very much. <laughs> hey, Cass. What? Cass, I've got something to tell you. What? <gasps> just, <gasps> just joking, wasn't it? Oh, just yeah. Liar, liar. Is he called Sally? Is he called Ruth? We don't know, cos he can't tell the truth. Oh, stop it, stop it, man. What are you doing? I'm just winding them up, aren't I? He always buys his own magic eye books. You can never take a hint. I know, I know exactly what you mean. Every single birthday and Christmas, I always get a PJ and Duncan CD. And you know what? It's always the same one, because somehow I just managed to, um, well, mislay the one before. And you're continuing to get that album, young lady. His bed's only two inches off the ceiling with the unsold copies of that album under his mattress. <laughs> Right, are you going to tell him or shall I? No, let's just wind them up, man, shall we? Come on. Okay. Ah. 